To our continuing coverage of the coronavirus crisis, four Spartanburg food distribution workers have tested positive for COVID-19. They're in quarantine. District officials are now speaking about the safety precautions. Here's 7 News' Kimberly Brown. Here at Duncan Elementary School, thousands of meals are put together for thousands of students here and one other site. Well, school officials say they're following health official guidelines to make sure kids are safe. Spartanburg District 5 confirms that more than a week ago, four food distribution workers tested positive for COVID-19. When you call somebody a meal distribution site worker, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're the ones that are preparing the sandwiches. To protect the employees, we're not going to get into the specifics of what job function they do. There are two food sites used by the school system to prepare and distribute food one at Welford Academy, the other at Duncan Elementary. The infected workers are currently under 14 day quarantine, which according to officials will be lifted in the next few days. With every impacted employee, you go through the DHEC process of determining that close contact circle and contacting those folks to let them know that they've potentially been exposed. Out of an abundance of caution, district officials notified the more than 155 employees at both locations about the positive cases and the DHEC testing process. Virtually from the beginning of this, we started offering PPE to all of those employees that work at those sites. And so um, they're able to wear those if they choose to. District officials have also and will continue to do temperature checks on workers to make sure workers are healthy and able to serve the students. We know that so many of our kids, uh, if they're not in school, they're not receiving those meals. And that includes the summertime too. So we're trying to, to make those meals available to them. School officials say they will deliver meals next week, which happens to be the last week of school. Reporting from Duncan Elementary School, Kimberly Brown, 7 News. The summer food distribution program is going to start right after that, according to CDC recommendations, they say, and operating under the same guidelines as they used last summer.